Merry Merry Christmas 2021. Love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. Love is moving and grooving, slipping and sliding. The distortionality of the Word of God has been proven here at this channel. I've been inviting ministers from any religion or none to uh, leave comments. None can because they don't have no response for what I'm saying. <laughs> but the truth is, love is in motion, and it's the kingdom age time to understand that love only wants to be irresistibly desired and loved irresistibly. So it's time for the sharpest wings of this gospel of, of love. Uh, it's now ready to stop and spread global oneness evangelism, which is the fruition of what Christ Jesus prayed for in the Garden of Gethsemane, his most passionate prayer of all for our oneness. And it is written, his prophecy, that in the latter days he would rise as the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. And that uh, the Bible's, his word declares that Israel would inherit all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3. And if you listen to uh, the truth here at the station, you will come to understand how that is possible. The Lord has made a way uh, where there has seemed to be no way, but he has prophesied uh, a writer, one uh, his strong and mighty one, line by line, precept by precept, would come, Isaiah 28, that the vision of God would be written plainly on the tablet, so all those that readeth it may run a writer, the writer of uh, Flying Scroll of Zechariah 5, the writer of the everlasting gospel of Revelation 14. For now is the days of Elijah where the spirit of uh, prophecy has come forth and God otherwise would be a liar if Jeremiah 31 1 did not come to pass and once it has come to pass then the mystery of God is over it's very easy to understand because in the latter days God would be the God of Israel and all the families of Israel Jeremiah 31 1 in the days when the kingdom age covenant was given unto them by one like Moses, Deuteronomy 18, 18, a covenant giver and a uh, writer. Uh, and uh, just listen to the uh, everlasting uh, gospel just a few videos back. And uh, it sounds just like Moses. So uh, it's time for the sickle of the Spirit. The revelation of revelation of his love is that Jesus Christ is the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken his reaper, Amos 9's uh, fruition. And uh, so now comes forth the sickle of his spirit that was foretold on, in Revelation 14 that he would put his, his word, his message into the earth, one last message of love, and then the world would be reaped for love. It's not a harvest of believing in him. In a way, it is because he is love. Those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. But moreover, it's time for everyone in this world to, to um, realize that they've always been unconditionally loved and that the ocean of his adoration was as a iceberg. We could not discern it. We could only see through a glass darkly. We only knew in part it was distortional. Uh, and um, watch... Uh, my video is uh, uh, Russell Brand. Uh, he talks about the distortionality. We can't even tell the color of different things if the light's shining in certain ways. So uh, praise the Lord that this is what the Lord will do now, is bring forth the harvest of his love. And the, the wheat comes with me and the tares will re remain behind in their gross darkness of spiritual condemnation and accusation towards everybody in the world. Everybody's a false prophet who doesn't believe exactly like they do. But God's love has been transcendent, and he has never been a respecter of anyone. He has loved us all equally, and this is the faith of the, uh, the equality of all men before God. And uh, so praise the Lord that these words of love may now be sent forth freely in the names of uh, Isa Yeshua, Jesus, who is... Emmanuel, our Messiah. And for Islamics out there, by the way, 
uh, Muhammad was right. Jesus was not a son of God. That was his name. He was Emmanuel. He was God with us. He was fully God. And he was no son. Allah has no sons. Think of mercury. When you have a mercury beaded in three, four pieces, it's mercury. And whether it's together as mercury or whether it's in pieces, it's still mercury. As it doesn't change at all. Water, steam, and ice is the trinity. But uh, what will help matters out is if we will realize that the, the reason that um, all of this has happened is that all the creation has been groaning with great expectation for the revelation of who we are that is to come in the latter days. Validation of what Jesus said in John 10, that we are gods, we are angels in the flesh, deny it no more people. That we can be demons or we can be uh, angels. It's our choice. If we're going to be demons, we're in trouble because we could let our love light go right out and then we would perish everlastingly. That's the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, to let your love light go out. Watch the video, Deathbed Confession of Anton LaVey. On his deathbed, he was saved. And he was like, oh my God, oh my God, what did I do? He wrote the book of Satan and started Satanism. But <laughs> God introduced himself as love and Anton was like, <laughs> pie in his face. So praise the Lord that Emmanuel, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, the, the Son of Man and the Son of God, one thing's for sure, every knee shall bow at his name of love. That is his name that John the Beloved gave him in 1 John 4, 7. And every tongue shall confess love. That is who he is. So know therefore that this very best news of all was born upon the wings of the Lord's Islamic dove of peace. Uh, and his fire is now blazing away as um, uh, in any souls as like a, a reflected inferno of his passionate love if we will embrace his word to change. Uh, we are in the midst of the COVID-3, which is the trial of all flesh of Revelation 3 that has come bringing God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change. We must wear total oblivion it would come, Jesus said so, that uh, unless his word came forth anew, Daniel 12, 9, his word was only closed until the time of the end. Unless his word, his message of Malachi 3, 1, prepared his way, that unless that happened, no flesh could be saved. Total uh, uh, oblivion of Zephaniah 1, where there would be no more fish on planet Earth, no more birds, no more man, it says so. So if you believe the word of God, but the good news is God's love shall save us from this um, money from all over this earth. Isaiah 16, 61 will come in when people realize that uh, all of their understandings about love have always been based on conditionality and there has never been conditions. We must become like our father and start developing unconditional love. You know, I started thinking about it today. Who do I really like? Well, I like my family, and uh, I liked all of them. And I, but do I like, do I, uh, I love them all, but do I really like them, each individual of my family? At times, I didn't like all of my family. My mom, my dad, I didn't like them. I didn't like my sister, I didn't like them. At times, I didn't like my wife, I didn't like her. I didn't like my kids, I don't like them. But I love them. And we gotta have that kind of transcendent, patient, tolerant love for all people, even if we don't like them. <laughs> it's called forgiveness. Forgiveness is love. They are one and the same. There is no difference. So let every courageous soul, soldiering onwards in love, walking under no condemnation, because the truth is, Jesus says, you can't even tell about born again. It's out of the wind. You don't even know where it's blowing. you got to be as little children, he said. Uh, with your love as a verb in motion and action, moving, not dead. Because you let it die, you have no more faith, you have nothing. You are empty. You are a desolate heritages uh, kind of a soul. But uh, then we become uh, part of the walking dead and brain suckers starving, you know. And um, if we stay there, we're committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, letting our love light go out. But the good news is, people, the Lord has spoken. And he says, I will be your God. You will be my uh, people. I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it. Sending Satan to the pit for a thousand years according to scripture. And I can prove it. 
it says so. So praise the Lord that uh, all false global religion can now crash die. Um, there was a prophetess, Baba Vanga, and uh, she said that all religion on earth it will crash down. And uh, what would arise in its place is a brotherhood of love, uh, beautiful like uh, fields of lilies. And um, this has been a prophecy of the shattering of the power of the holy people because our righteousness has been as filthy rags and so has all of our understanding of, of his love. It's not important what we've done for him all paid, all the Bible says in his parable of the uh, uh, workers in the vineyard that in the kingdom of God all get paid the same pay at the end of the day. And Jesus said that all of our sin is forgiven us except the unforgivable sin to let your love go out. So it's time to send this message out uh, so that accursed apostate houses condemning their brethren will stop it. They'll never survive the mighty wind of change that's necessarily coming. Uh, nothing can prevent uh, heaven's greatest heaven sent power for it shall be not by power nor by might but only by the spirit of love that this earth shall be snatched back from the edge of the oblivion where we have been precariously dancing it's like two minutes to midnight people so it's time for all spirit led people to evacuate all houses of God that will not accept the cannons opening again or else uh, all the prophecy in the word of God, they're ignoring it all. These are the days of Muhammad's prophecy that his people would belong to another that sounds like Islam. And it's Islam, it's Israel's name that God said he would name in the latter days. Isaiah 62 2 says so. And Muhammad said it would come because, uh, because of the book coming that proves God's mercy. And he knew that book was behind and not in front. That's why he always said there would never be another important prophet in the future. Paul said the same thing. He said, when these words come in the latter days, that all faith would be obsolete as it was. God wants the benevolence and the charity of the state, keep the faith from all the religions. Let that be stirred up unto overflowing to help save this earth. But uh, all the condemnation that we've always had upon one another, it's spiritual racism. And it is sick. This world is really sick. And our carpenter of the ages, he tears down before he builds up. It says so in Haggai 2 2. It says so in Jeremiah 1 10. For he is now through this messenger. He has the rod of his tongue as the hammer of God. And he is bringing down that hammer. He is the carpenter of the ages. He is in re restoration mode. And the renovation that he does is to tear down first all kingdoms of man, all not built solely upon his the imagination of, of his unconditional love for all of us. So it's time that we will allow Krizlam to manifest in our understandings that he has loved us all equally and all religion has been as a, has been a vain attempt. Desolate heritage, is a, it says so. Isaiah 49, 8, our meager attempt to make God love us more than he loves them or those. Or, <laughs> it's always been a bunch of bunk. I mean, the Word of God is, I'm not calling the Word of God bunk, uh, uh, but people's understandings of it have been. And they've twisted their religions into something that does not even resemble the truest truth of love. Because love is all that we need. And love is all in all. So love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace. Please pass on these messages. I've been out here preaching to... Uh, dead space because uh, everybody listening to me got nothing in between their ears because they're tuning out as soon as they hear me say boo <laughs>